Hey everyone, my name is Valerie Bombshell. Um, I am a burlesque performer based out of New York City. Um, and I'm also a very avid reader, so I'm really excited to read some poems from Dirty Pretty Things by Michel uh, Fude. I'm really a fan of his work um, because of a lot of the senses that come about in his writing. Like, it's, it's, you can almost feel what he's feeling through the words that he's written. And um, it's also erotic poetry, which I adore. Um, so I will read a few poems from here. I hope you like it. Um, yeah, so let's get started. This poem is called Kindness. Do you know what really turns me on? What I find incredibly sexy? Kindness. The Mermaid. She came from the ocean, this wild girl from the sea. Her hair flowing southward, she walked towards me. A west to east smile with the eyes steely gray, like a storm in the distance rolling in from the bay. We kissed, we kissed with the sunrise, made love when it set. I promised by moonlight came, came dawn, my regret. He left for the ocean, this boy from the land. His spirit soared northwards, his heart in her hand. The Kiss Crashing waves on an empty beach. The rhythm of our hearts. Two drowning lovers lost at sea. My lips adrift in yours. The muse, her body framed with arms outstretched, wrists roped and roughly bound. Uh, from a tiny mouth and your pretty lips, you uttered not a sound. I painted with words, a canvas stretch laid bare upon the ground. Perfume, her perfume reminded me of a freshly picked of freshly picked flowers and sticky candy floss mixed with a gentle hint of debauchery. Stillness. There is a certain stillness, even with the gentle flutter of a butterfly's wings, feels like a hurricane. The moment when crashing waves fall asleep, peaceful loss to the serenity of salty dreams. When tall trees stand to the attention and every leaf pauses, takes a deep breath and holds it. It is here, beneath the maddening, maddening silence, I hear your name, an echo of you. So the next book I'm going to read from is A Poet in Andalusia by Nathalie Hanzal. Uh, I'm a huge fan of hers. All of her poetry is amazing. Um, somebody who's moved around a lot in a lot of different cultures, I really resonate with her and her work. Um, so uh, I'm going to read a few poems from here, or maybe just one, if I can find it. Okay, so this poem is called uh, Gypsy with a Song. I was born far from a plain, close to a church, far from a stream, close to a field, far from a god with eyes. Smoke curls like thick fog. A song by Duke Ellington is playing, trumpets teasing souls. I am in St. George's uh, Anglican Cemetery in Malaga, where the musicians and lovers of jazz gather to play tunes by tunes. A gypsy of wonder the globe, especially in the shadows. I've spent my life without a song. Day after day, drifting along, but tonight my song is in every campfire, every violin. My song is here, along with some happiness, some version of peace, some feet tapping earth in the ocean deciding time. This is how it begins. I'm in your arms where, I'm in your arms now where I belong, and not a gypsy, not the uh, gitana without song. Sin una canción, no, not, no more, no more. I carry the Mississippi and the Dead Sea, black folks and brown folks, the Delta, the Delta, La Voix de Noël, Orleans, and that of Harlem here with me. All here, the stretching of time, 
against hills, the drummers, the moor, the heart aging down a valley. Today, tonight, I am not a gypsy. I wear water like a song, its moistness, its hum, its banjo, its guitarra, and the whisper coming like a cry, abandoned someplace. Canta faster, faster. Sing until Pietro de la Libertad, Pietro Cervantes. Sing until Teresa Sanaza, until Antigua Casa de Garcia, until the tunes cross over the river Guadalmedina. The color here is in the, trampo- in the trombone, the cornet in the hand that stops fire. Tonight I have a song about the sharp wild breath. Three windows, one echo, a slow shadow that no longer pretends it knows what it sees. Tonight, I am a gypsy with a song about belonging and longing. The second set, a drowsy tune, the speed of solitude.